Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to be working on a tiger eye, which is a real-time video with voiceovers. I've linked the reference photo below, along with the materials I used, if you'd like to have a go at drawing along with me. And if you'd like to complete the full tiger eye with the fur, along with access to other in-depth real-time tutorials, then you can head over to my Patreon, where I have over 45 videos, with new videos being uploaded each month. I hope you enjoy. So to begin, I'm just lightly rubbing out the eye area before going in with the colour pencil. This is just to make sure there are no harsh pencil marks showing through. With a lot of reference photos, the eye is usually quite dark, so I like to just lighten it slightly so that I can see where everything is a bit better. So I've attached the lighter version of the reference photo, as well as the original. So by looking at the lighter photo, I can see that the eyelid is more of a cool tone colour. So I'm starting by taking the Polychromos Payne's Grey to begin outlining the eye area, as the Payne's Grey is a dark cool tone grey. And I'm just getting a basic outline down for now, marking out the area in the inner corner here. It doesn't matter too much at this stage if the proportions are correct, just as long as you get an idea of where everything is. I think I may have brought the lid down slightly too far here, but I can amend this later on. And now here I'm just outlining the pupil under the reflection. Shading in the inner corner here using a lighter pressure. And then I'm shading into this area to the left of the eye, creating shorter strokes and bringing my pencil up into where the fur will be. And then I'm doing the same at the bottom. Now I'm lightly marking out the bottom lid.
Now to shade in the lower lid, I'm taking the Polychromos Cold Grey 231 and I'm using a light to medium pressure to cover the whole of the lid. And then I'm also shading around the top part too. Now going in with a darker coal grey pencil, this is the coal grey 233. I'm starting to shade in around the edge of the iris, using a medium pressure and then taking the pressure off slightly as I shade into the iris. And then I'm also lightly shading around the bottom of the pupil. And then here I'm just rubbing out the pencil in the middle so that it doesn't show through but still keeping a faint mark so I know where the colours change in the iris. So for the eye I'm using the Polychromos Ivory as a base which is my usual go-to pencil to use as a base for eyes and I'm shading in the whole of the eye using a light to medium pressure. Now right around the pupil, it's more of a yellow green colour, so I'm taking the Polychromos Earth Green and I'm still using a light to medium pressure to shade this area in. I tend to use circular motions when shading in the eye area.
using a slightly heavier pressure just below the pupil as this area is a little bit darker. And then I'm also shading in the top of the iris just above the reflection. Next up, I'm taking the Polychromos Dark Cadmium Yellow, just to brighten that yellow colour in the eye. Still using a fairly light pressure and focusing around the outer edge. Now I'm taking the Polychromos Dark Chrome Yellow, which is more of a yellow orange tone pencil. And I'm again shading into the eye using a lighter pressure and using circular motions. Focusing on the outer edge and then lightly shading into the rest of the iris. Really building the colour up in this area here, just to the left of the reflection, as the orange is a lot more vibrant in this area. Taking the Luminance Brown Ochre 50%, which is more of a brown orange tone pencil, I'm continuing to shade into the iris. Again, focusing more on the outer edge and then lightly shading into the middle. Using a bit of a heavier pressure here to build up that colour in the top left corner. Now looking at the reference photo closely, I can almost see like a light blue undertone to the green area 
right in the middle of the iris. So I'm taking the Luminant Silver Grey pencil to lightly shade in here. And then I'm shading over the reflection, as that also has a blue undertone to it. Going back in with the Polychromos Payne's Grey, making sure my pencil is sharp, I'm just going back over the outline of the eye, using more of a medium to heavy pressure now. I'm being a bit more careful and precise with where I draw the outline now. And I'm again using the lighter version of the reference photo for this, so that I can see all the details of the eye. The very outer edge of the eye is quite dark, so I'm really layering up the pencil here. Then I'm outlining the pupil here, and adding detailing in between the reflection. And again I'm shading in the area around the eye, following the direction of the fur.
I feel like this area at the top is a bit lower down, so I'm using the same pencil to bring the top lid down a little, using a medium to heavy pressure. Now here I'm starting to shade in around the outer edge of the eye, using a medium pressure and circular motions. And here I've noticed that I need to bring the lower lid up a little, so I'm just redrawing that in here. Then I'm taking the Tombow Mono Eraser to erase some of the colour. And then I'm going back in with the paint grey. Now looking at the reference photo, I can see that there is a grey brown kind of colour around the outer edge. So I'm using the Luminance Sepia 50% and I'm shading in here in the inner corner using a medium pressure. Bring it down along the bottom of the lid here. And then I'm adding some detailing at the bottom. And I'm shading around the bottom of the pupil here. Taking the Tombow Mono Eraser, I'm just lightly erasing the top lid as it looks a little bit too far down. And then picking up the sepia 50% again, I'm shading in below the top lid. And then using the Polychromos Earth Green, I'm using a light to medium pressure to shade in above the reflection and then bringing the colour down the side of the eye. And then again shading in the centre of the iris. Taking the Polychromos Terracotta, I'm really bringing out the vibrant orange in the iris, using a medium pressure and circular motions. I'm really building the colour up on the left side here. and then taking the pressure off slightly as I bring my pencil down around the eye. Next up I'm taking the Polychromos Raw Umber, which is a lighter brown pencil, 
with a yellow undertone and I'm shading in the outer edge using a medium pressure. And I'm also shading around the centre using a lighter pressure here. Then taking the Polychromos Nougat, which is a light brown pencil, I'm just shading in the outer edge, as well as the rest of the iris. Adding a bit more pressure to my pencil in those areas where I can see darker specks of colour in the eye. As I mentioned earlier, the green area in the centre of the iris has some blue tones within it. So taking the Pablo Grey Pencil, which is a grey pencil with a blue tone to it, I'm shading in this area, using a bit of a heavier pressure around the pupil, and then lightly taking the pressure off. If you don't own this pencil, you can always use another muted or grey tone blue pencil. And then to bring out the green in the iris, I'm using the Luminance Colbert Green, which is a bit of a brighter green compared to the Earth Green. And I'm just using a light to medium pressure to shade in. Next up I'm taking the Luminance Olive Brown 50% and I'm shading around the very edge of this green area in the iris using a light to medium pressure. I can also see some olive green tones on the right side here. And then I'm using a lighter pressure to shade over the whole of the iris. Using the Polychromos Cream, I'm just shading in areas of the iris to brighten it slightly and also blend the layers of pencil together using a light to medium pressure. I can also see a hint of warmth under the pupil here, so taking the Pablo Brownish Orange I'm shading in using a medium pressure. Unfortunately here I lost a couple minutes of footage from this clip so I'm just going to take you through what I did with the Pablo brownish orange. So I just shaded under the pupil and then I added a touch of colour around the outer edge of the eye. And then after this I went in with the Polychromos Light Ultramarine, lightly glazing over the inner corner here and then in the waterline and lower lid. And then also lightly went over the reflection. So next I'm taking the Luminance Paints Grey 60%, which is a dark cool tone grey. And I'm shading around the very edge of the eye, as I can see a cool tone colour around the edge in certain places, 
You can see this a bit better looking at the lighter version of the reference photo. And then I'm also working into the eyelid around the eye, shading up here into where the fur will be. Then shading into the corner, still using a light to medium pressure to build the layers up gradually. Going back in with the same Payne's Grey 60%, I'm shading into the lower lid, using a light to medium pressure around the outer edge, and then taking the pressure off to shade into the rest of the lid. shading down into where the fur will be here, creating short strokes coming out from the eyelid. Going over this area in the inner corner here. And then adding in some detailing to the reflection. And then going back in with the Polychromos Payne's Grey using more of a medium pressure now to continue shading into the eyelid. Taking the pressure off as I shade into the middle of the lid. Then I'm again bringing my pencil lightly over the top. Taking the Polychromos Dark Indigo, which is a deep blue colour, I'm going over those line details in the reflection, just to darken them slightly. And then I'm very lightly shading into the bottom of the reflection. Moving on to the lid, I'm using a light to medium pressure to shade in, as the lid is more of a blue tone.
and creating short strokes at the bottom of the lid here, like we did earlier. And now taking the Polychromos Burn Tumber, I'm going back to the iris for a moment. And I'm shading around the edge at the top here, as it's quite shadowed in this area, using a medium to heavy pressure. I'm using the Burn Tumber pencil, as opposed to, say, the Walnut Brown, as it's more of a warm tone pencil. And then I'm also adding some detailing around the bottom edge, taking the pressure off a little. And then also around the pupil, building up that warm colour right around it. Going in with the Polychromos Black, I'm really darkening the outline of the eye, using a medium to heavy pressure. I'm also darkening the pupil here, whilst also bringing it out a bit more. And then going in with the Payne's Grey, I'm just rounding off the waterline here. And then I'm continuing to shade into the waterline and eyelid area. building up the colour in the pupil and then darkening these details in between the reflection.
taking the pressure off as I shade away from the eye here. Going in with the Polychromos Burnt Ochre, I'm continuing to shade into the iris using a light to medium pressure. This is another perfect colour to use as the eye is almost like a burnt orange colour. And then for the warm colour around the pupil, I want to add more of a reddy brown colour. So I'm taking the Polychromos Venetian Red and I'm using a light to medium pressure to shade around the pupil. And then I'm also adding touches of colour around the iris where I can see hints of red. Taking the Polychromo Sky Blue, which is a light blue pencil, I'm shading into the eyelid here, as it's quite blue in colour, and I'm just using a medium pressure. This is also blending the layers of pencil that we already put down. And then I'm working back into the waterline, and then shading over the reflection. To bring out the blue in the eyelid even more, I'm taking the Helio Blue Reddish Polychromos pencil and I'm starting to shade into the lid using a light to medium pressure. Focusing around the very edge of the lid to begin with. And then adding a touch of colour to the inner corner and reflection. Going in again with the Polychromos Payne's Grey, I'm using a bit of a heavier pressure here to really darken this area around the eye. Leaving this bit in the middle a little bit lighter. And 
then working around the edge of the bottom lid. Working back into the pupil here. And then shading into the top lid. Taking the Pablo grey pencil and working up from the darker area here into where the fur will be using a lighter pressure. The fur almost looks slightly blue as the hairs come out from the darker area going into the lighter fur. This is why I'm using the Pablo pencil which is grey with a hint of blue. If you don't own this pencil you can always use either the Luminance Payne's Grey 30% or you could use a polychromos blue pencil mixed with a grey pencil. And then I'm also shading into the reflection on the right here. The eyelid is still looking a little light, so I'm taking the Luminance Payne's Grey 60% and I'm shading over the eyelid using a light to medium pressure. Then going back in again with the Payne's Grey to darken the very bottom of the lid using a medium to heavy pressure and I'm just creating short strokes at the bottom of the lid. Taking the brown oak of 50%, I'm just going over the iris once again to just kind of smooth out the layers and add a touch more colour. For this area to the left of the eye, we used the Luminance Sepia 50%, but I wanted to just darken it slightly using the Polychromos Dark Sepia. I'm also just adding a bit of curve to this detail here. Now to bring out some of the highlights in the waterline and eyelid, I'm taking the White Museum Aquarelle, which as I've mentioned a few times in my other videos, it is the most pigmented white and it goes over coloured pencil really well. So I'm just working into the top part of the lid here, bringing out that highlight. Then I'm going in with the Luminance Payne's Grey 
making sure my pencil is sharp as I'm just gently outlining under the highlight we just added on the lower lid. And then I'm continuing to shade in. Adding a touch of colour to the outer edge of the eye here. And then I'm going back in with the Pablo brownish orange to add in little specks of detail into the iris, keeping my pencil fairly light. Taking the earth green pencil and working into the centre of the iris again, using a bit more pressure in certain places to create those little specks of dark details in the eye. Taking the Polychromos Coal Grey 233, I'm just shading around the reflection using a light to medium pressure. I will go in with a white pencil afterwards just to bring out the white in the reflection. And I'm just adding some detailing around the iris here. Then taking the white museum at Cruel and bringing out the reflection in the eye, just to brighten it slightly. And I'm also brightening certain areas of the iris using a medium pressure. bringing out the lighter area here in the corner and then adding any highlights to the lower lid. So there is the tiger eye complete. 
please make sure to give this video a like if you've enjoyed it and would like to see more videos like this. My Patreon is linked down below if you'd like to have access to lots of other in-depth tutorials. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.